Hi, my name's H.G. Watson for Daily Extra. Earlier today, Councillor Doug Ford told media that Mayor Rob Ford is not a homophobe and that he's happy to help his gay constituents. As the LGBT news source for Toronto, we decided to head down to City Hall and find out for ourselves. Are you still spending time with Alexander Why Lacey? didn't you? Why didn't you stand for World Pride, sir? Well, today I was uh, Matt Cutler and uh, and Barb from the Five and Nineteen and I were standing in the rotunda, and uh, and a woman with a Ford Nation T-shirt walks by and says, "Stop, uh, stop harassing the mayor," and uh, and then called us, you know, quote unquote, fucking faggots, just like that, like right on city property. So. You know, there there is something about um, about uh, about his behavior that actually allows people to come out and, and show more bigotry. Right. So it's unfortunate. But what the? I'm sorry. So uh, this is from the uh, Doug Ford's uh, scrum earlier today, and Don P, reporter for the Toronto Sun, um, he said that basically that Rob Ford's gay supporters are scared of the media, and then he followed that up by telling reporters that he has an idea, and he encouraged reporters to use a plant and have a gay person call the mayor's office and ask for help, with the implication that the mayor happily helps everybody. So I was wondering what you thought of that. Plant as in person and not plant as in fur. As in person, yeah. yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, that's an extremely juvenile uh, response and a certain a very juvenile comment. Um, you know, the mayor's actions now, I think, are consistent, and they've been consistent for some time, uh, well past uh, his time, uh, well before his time as, as elected as mayor. Um, I think what we should do is not give him any more time and attention. Uh, the more uh, that we respond to his comments, necessarily, the more oxygen uh, it, it, uh, it, it, it offers him, and I just don't think that... Uh, uh, that we should spend any more time on it. Like we just hosted this extraordinary festival that was the largest international event in the history of the city of Toronto and we did it successfully and it was like primarily around the celebration of LGBT equality, human rights, it was hosted by the community. We have a lot of reasons to celebrate and I don't think we should focus on the actions or just simply the words of one man and one man who's very, very sick. Why you didn't stand up the other day? Yes, address that, please. No, why, why didn't you stand up? Did standing up cost money, sir? Is that what you were worried about? Why wouldn't you stand up? All you up? did was that spend a fold line. You're why are you afraid of questions? questions? Mayor Rob Ford did not respond to questions in the two media scrums today, and Councillor Doug Ford did not respond to our request for interview. But we're going to keep asking them questions because we want to know if they are committed to helping their gay constituents. So we'll be emailing them and phoning them, and we encourage you to do the same and let us know how it goes.